I know that I have not answered a lot of questions. I've raised more than I've answered. That was the intention. There are a lot of things that need to be discussed. Um, and um, there's an awful lot of, 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 hopefully, a lot of questions that have, have been raised by this. Are there any questions from you guys at this point before we go into that? Thanks, Paul. That was very good. Thank you. We show our appreciation for the presentation. I was interested when you said that the AEC UK uh, protocol had been translated into other languages. Um, does that imply, did they adapt it at the same time they did the translation, or did they accept the basic validity of the work that you had incorporated into the protocol in the UK? Um, I can't say for certain what the Russian one says. Um, but as I understand it, it is a translation. There's, there's very little of the document is UK specific. Um, it is, um, there are aspects which look at British standards, so things like BS 1194 uh, are mentioned and interpreted, but the, they've been chosen, those standards have been chosen because they had a message and they had a useful uh, they, they had something that was of use to the BIM methodology. So just by taking out the title of BS 1194, the, the content still has relevance. So yes, they, they, they were translations accepting the, the, uh, the information contained and, and weren't adapted too much. Oh, any other questions? Paul, I just want to ask where the AEC UK BIM standard sits in the what's emerging in the UK. I mean, there's BS 1192 is the overall British standard. The BSI have produced the BIM framework. Yeah. Is it, does it all fall, fall into a picture? Or is, you, you said earlier it's not a conflicting standard; it's war protocol. Yeah. I mean, it, what we, when we first started out on this process, the um, uh, the, the AC group were seen as a slightly maverick organisation in that we, we weren't sort of doing the normal thing of discussing things for 10 years before we actually published anything. We just kind of wrote it, got it out there, and then, to, you know, sort of um, worked it out as we went along. Um, what's happened is that the success of the, the adoption of that standard has meant that we've been brought into the fold in terms of the, the official uh, BSI. Um, so consequently, the new initiative of the BS555 committee, which is pulling together the new BIM standards for the UK, um, we've, we've actually got a little um, room off to one side of that process, which is the, the, the software-specific um, adaptation of standards. They've kind of created a little side room for us um, because they've realised that, 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 that it's not just a niche market we represent and that there is a need for this, this uh, software-specific application. Okay, um, thank you for uh, staying awake, and um, I'll be um, mm -hmm. moving around and answering any questions if people are too shy to hold the mic, um, and um, also sort of helping people to, to talk through these questions. Thanks thank very you. much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you.